Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. We are going to be using our yoga blocks to add some more spice to our Pilates practice. Let's get started. <laughs> Can we lie on the ground, please, on your back? And we're gonna start with the block between your thighs. Wide or? Let's say wide. wide. Let's say wide block. <clears throat> and your feet are standing onto your floor, and I would like you to lift your hips up and down a few times. Now, you can experiment here. Is it, yes, it's a wide block rather than a narrow block. Perfect. So I'd like you to experiment taking either an articulated spine, so like a wave lifting up and down, or like a board up and down. Maybe you do a variation of that. Mostly what I'm looking at is warming up the back of the body, seeing how high can we go, because we're going to be changing this up a few different ways. We're going to go one more. Good. Let's take the block under one foot. So one block under one foot. And we'll go into like a board lifting and lowering. So one line up, one line down. Let's do about five of these. Even though we are not symmetric with our foot position. We're still trying to get our hips in the same level. Good. Just shove that block over underneath the other foot and see See how it feels on that side before we add on to it. I always feel in this one that this is much more spicy for me. I'm just trying to figure out if it's more difficult for the foot, like which is on top of the block, or the one underneath. Well, I will clear that up for you in about two repetitions. <laughs> but it definitely brings <laughs> awareness. Definitely brings awareness. Good. Okay, folks at home. Hopefully, or maybe you have two blocks. So let's take the block, shove it under the first foot, or move it over there. <coughs> Before we start with the next exercise, so the two blocks, the leg that is not standing on the block will lift to the sky and we are trying to balance the block, the extra block, on the sole of your foot. So if you have it, if you don't have an extra block, don't worry about it. You could just imagine your sole of the foot flat on the sky. Now, here, I'd like you to bend your top leg so the ceiling or the block is coming down towards you, and then press the block to the sky. We bend. As if the block is falling down, 10 push-ups. <laughs> Don't worry, you do not need to do 10 push-ups. There's about five repetitions of this. Okay, you can do nine. <laughs> He's obsessed with push-ups at home. Don't worry. This should be about finishing up your fifth one. Now your leg stays long to the sky. We are trying to lift your hips and lower your hips. Keep the top leg long. So this is the good balancing act, isn't it? Circles with this. 
just in case you wanted. This is about number four. Our last variation takes those two exercises and puts them together. When you are on, your hips are on the ground, your leg is bent. As you lift your hips, you stretch your leg to the sky. Hips come down, the leg is bent. Stretch up to the sky. We have five of those. Or less or more, depending on how you're feeling. All right, Ooh. take a little pause, shake it out. Well done. All right, we're gonna prepare for the other side. So our <coughs> standing foot is on the block and for this first variation, it doesn't move. The other leg is extended up long to the sky, flex your foot, and of course we're working on that balance because it hurts when that block comes down. We're bending and stretching your top leg. So I'm sure you've already seen that when you bend your leg, we're trying to get your thigh closer in towards your chest because if you've bent it the other way, the block is just going to fall down to the floor. Coming back to the breath, right? Find that relationship together. You're about finishing up your last one. <coughs> then your leg is going to stay long. Your bottom block foot presses down as you lengthen up towards the sky, lift your hips and lower your hips back down. And we're about ready to start that combo. When we're down, the leg is bent. When we're up, we're pressing to the sky. Always working for symmetry in the level of your hips. That's from up to down and right to left. Great, everyone. That should be about your last one. Take your block off of your foot when you're ready and just hug your knees into your chest or do whatever sort of wiggles make you feel good. <coughs> Last little ab sequence that we're going to do right now is to take your block back to your right sole of the foot. Your right leg is up towards the sky and the block is balancing on the sole of your foot. Bring your hands again behind your head. Lift your chest. Okay, your free leg is the left leg. Your right leg just gets to stay there. Your left leg comes up to a tabletop position and then it stretches out for a single leg stretch. The left leg will be bending and lengthening and your chest will stay up the whole time. The block pressing up to the sky with energy. Let's do four more times of your free leg bending and stretching. And three, good. Here's two. And one, good. Let's change to the other side. You can see that there's a lot of variations we could do here with a crisscross and also scissors. We're gonna leave that out because we have so many exercises that we love. Don't we wanna do two hours today? T no. <laughs> I don't think that's what they signed up for today. <laughs> Lift your chest, get ready for that single leg stretch or a variation. Poor Mr. Pilates is it probably... Was, it was written in small letters. Yeah, was it? On two hours? Two hours. <laughs> no, it was even 120 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> or if I'm counting right, you have about three more to go. <laughs> and well 
well done, everyone. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining us today. Why don't you check us out in one of our live stream trainings or watch any one of our hundreds of pre-recorded videos made just for you. You could find that in our Perfect View Inspire membership. If you're a teacher, you might want to grab wha any one of our free resources. That's down below in the bio. Yes, if you can't get enough for right now, why don't you go over here, watch the next video, go over there to subscribe. If you have any questions, anything you would like to know, please leave us a comment down there below. In the end, thank you so much for joining us today. Bye. Bye.